At the Vovchansk aggregate plant, held by the Russians until recently, enemy commanders violently forced their subordinates to pursue futile resistance, thus dooming them to death amid the advance of the Ukrainian Defense Intelligence Units. This was reported by the Ukrainian Defense Intelligence Press Service. According to Ukrainian Defense Intelligence spokesman Andriy Cherniak, the mission to liberate the plant had been prepared for months and the mission's ultimate success greatly contributed to the effectiveness of further actions by Ukraine's defense forces. This was critical for facilitating our logistics as much as possible, supporting of our forces located in the area. This will further enable Ukraine's defense forces to conduct counter-offensive moves and drive the enemy out of Ukrainian land said the spokesman. He added that the Russians holding the plant suffered grave manpower losses because their commanders, through brutal violence, effectively condemned their soldiers to a senseless death. Actually, Russian commanders were doing some terrifying, wild and deranged things to their subordinates. It's about premeditated murders. It's about terror. This is another example where Russian soldiers have no rights, as they are not seen as human beings at all, Cherniak noted. On the 24th of September, special units of the Ukrainian Defense Intelligence fully liberated the territory of the Vovchansk aggregate plant, eliminating dozens of elite Russian fighters and capturing occupiers. The plant is now under the control of the armed forces of Ukraine. According to Ukrainian intelligence, Representative Andriy Yusov, preparation for the mission to liberate the plant took several weeks. Ukrainian military intelligence forces successful clearance of the factory building holds significant importance for future defense forces operations. It was necessary to simplify logistics and supply our forces based in this region. In the future, this will enable the Ukrainian defense forces to carry out counter-offensive operations and drive the enemy from Ukrainian land said Yusov. He added that the Russian forces at the plant suffered heavy losses as their leaders had essentially sent their soldiers to senseless deaths. Truly horrific, wild and bizarre things happened there, committed by Russian commanders against their subordinates, involving deliberate killings and terror. It's another example of how Russian soldiers have no rights and are not even regarded as human beings. Yusov emphasized, as reported earlier, special operations units of Ukraine's defense intelligence captured nearly 20 Russian invaders during the liberation of the Vovchansk aggregate plant. Russian military losses in 2024 remain one of the highest for the entire period of the two-year war of invasion. A total of 38,130 Russian military personnel were killed by Ukrainian troops in September this year. Russia also suffered heavy losses in terms of military hardware. Ukrainian troops downed a Russian warplane and destroyed 6,283 units of other military hardware. Thus, Russian invaders lost 291 tanks, 787 armored combat vehicles in this period. In addition, a record 323 units of special military equipment were destroyed during hostilities in September. Over the past month, Ukraine destroyed 291 Russian tanks, 
787 armored fighting vehicles, 1,219 artillery systems, 28 multiple rocket launchers, and 23 air defense systems. As of October, Russia's total war casualty toll in Ukraine since the invasion has reached to an estimated 655,560, according to the General Staff of Ukraine's Armed Forces. It should be noted that Russia has not publicized its combat losses in Ukraine.